Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video I will show you how to solve the most well-known problem. Add two numbers that have come up in interviews for big companies like Amazon and Google. And we will try to find a better answer in terms of time and space complexity. So let's start by reading the problem and trying to break it into pieces so it's easy to solve. You are given two non-empty linked lists representing two non-negative integers. The, the digits are stored in reverse order, and each of their nodes contain a single digit. Add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. You may assume that two numbers do not contain any leading zero except the number zero itself. So first, we need to make sure that we will use all of the information and details given in the platform description. So for this example, these are the details that we need to focus on. Two non-empty linked list. And we have also non-negative integers. And we have also numbers are stored in reverse order. The very last piece of information is essential. And we may actually put it to good use in order to advance our goals. Due to the fact that the numbers that are represented by the linked list are in the opposite order, this could actually help us in working with the carry that is required when adding two digits together. First, we must initialize three variables, okay? The first one will hold the carry, which will be passed on at, at each step. The second, second one will be a linked list that will hold the final result and its value will start at zero. And the third one will be our pointer, which will be used at each step to move to the next node. So let's declare a variable called curry, and it's gonna be equal to zero. And the result, like I say, it will be a linked list that will hold the final result. The list node zero is gonna be just a dummy node. And we have the pointer that is gonna be equal to the result. And as we know, in Python, any update in pointer will immediately affect the result as both variables share the same object reference. We may now iterate over linked list after initializing these variables. And we need, we need to keep it right iterating until neither list has any more nodes and no more units are carried over. A while loop with the following condition should work. So we're gonna, we're gonna say, while linked list one or linked list two or carry is not equal to zero or one of them is not equal to none so then we when we retrieve the digit from each node since we, the linked list could be of different size or reach the end of both list and carry over a unit we must also handle the scenario when the node's value is not so we're going to declare a variable first num it's going to be equal to linked list dot value if linked list is not known else we're gonna we're gonna give it a zero and also for the second num after that we add the first num and second num plus the carry uh, if the total of the two numbers for example is 17 the num is gonna be equal to 7 because 17 model 10 it's gonna be 7 it's gonna be equal to 7 and we have the carry that's going to be equal to 1 because 17 divided by 10 is going to be equal to 1. So we're going to, we're going to declare a variable called sum that is going to be equal to first num plus second num plus the carry. Also, we're going to declare a variable called num that's going to be equal to the sum more than 10. So we can have the, the number that we're going to store inside the node. And also, we're going to have the carry. So sum divided by 10. In the end, we store the result in the pointer, which also update the result because these two variables share a reference, like I said, to the same object. So after that, we move the pointer to the next node if there is one. Okay, so we're gonna say pointer.next equal to result num. Also, we're gonna say pointer equal to pointer.next. And at, at the final, we're gonna say linked list one is gonna be equal to linked one. Next, if L, if linked list one is not known, else is not.
finally we return result of next since we initialize the length list using dummy not zero and we're gonna return result of next so for the time complexity if the length of the first length list is n for example and the length and the length of the second length list is n then we will either iterate a maximum of m or n times depending on which of the two linked lists contain a greater number of nodes since this is the case the time complexity of the algorithm is denoted by the notation of o max m or n and the space complexity is o of 1 